okay in this video we'll try to understand what is ant its benefits and what value is it going to add in terms of project management etc ant stands for another neat tool it is indeed a very neat tool and in fact if i were to define ant in single sentence then it would be ant is a time and frustration saver you will get to know what i mean by the end of this video Take a look at this very simple web application which I've developed and all this application does is it will allow me to enter a couple of numbers and when I click this button add it's just going to show the sum of those two numbers. Pretty simple application and for simple application like this you would still end up having a project structure that looks like this. You're going to have a source folder where you would have all your Java files in our case this is going to be a solid and then you have resources folder where you would put all the resources used in your Java program an example of which is dot properties file or you could also have other file formats like XML file etc and also you'll have a folder which is web content you would basically have the presentation technologies here like cascading style sheets JavaScript images and uh, HTML etc. We also have a WebANF directory and in the lib directory you would basically put all the external jars that are going to be useful in nature in your project during the runtime and you'll have the classes folder as well this is where the compiled version of .java would reside. If you're not aware of an application like this and the project structure etc then you can take a look at my course on so let's in JSP it's a very good course you can take a look at it so similarly you got other folders and this is very simplified folder structure for a project and in real time you would have many other folders like for example you'd have a folder for test classes or you would have another folder for documentation etc all those folders will come into picture when we talk about maven which will come later so but this is a typical project structure for a for an application like this in fact if you go and create a dynamic project in Eclipse this is how it would basically look and this war file is something that we've generated I'll talk about it in a second so in order to deploy this application onto my server typically I have to follow these these steps what I have to do first of all is to copy all the files that are not Java files to the build classes directory we have this directory created and what I mean by copying all the non Java files is basically the files like this properties files or XML files etc because we can't copy the dot Java file here because we don't want the source code rather we want the compiled version of the source code, the dot class file so that's the second step that's what you would do you would basically compile all the source files or dot java files and then you keep them you you would keep the dot class files in this directory just as we did here and then again as a third step what you would do is you would package all the content in the build classes directory as well as the web content directory as a var file so basically you would combine all these and uh, create a var file and for this purpose you have to use one of the tools available as part of JDK I mean you have to enter a command in your command processor to perform all this for you and even for compiling you have to use the Java C tool that is part of JDK to compile the .java files and then you need to manually copy all the class files into the build classes directory and once you have this var file finally you'd have to manually copy it into your server's web apps directory and then uh, you will see this application running but there is a lot of headache in this approach because all these steps needs to be executed manually and there is a higher chance of committing an error for example let's say that you have missed compiling some of the classes present in the source folder and so it won't get reflected in the web archive that you're going to create similarly let's say that you forgot to include some of the other files which are of useful in nature for your application 
and moreover you'd have to do all these steps every time you make a simple change which is very tedious job a lot of time goes into it as well as it, uh, it will result in a lot of frustration especially if you face errors when you run the application etc so the answer is ant tool what ant allows us to do is it will allow us to write an xml file that looks something like this this is a syntax of it very basic syntax and it would allow you to specify a list of tags and each tag will perform a certain task for example whatever i'm doing here i'm going to write set of tags by following the specifications and once i do that i don't have to manually perform all these steps i would just simply run this single script that will do everything for me this file will compile all the source files put them into the build classes and it would also create a web archive file it would also take care of deploying the var file into servers web apps directory literally everything and in the end we can also instruct it to do the cleanup activity by clearing or deleting the build classes directory so that the next time we run it we're going to have a fresh set of files so this would basically save a significant amount of time energy and frustration and for this to happen we need to download a zip file which when we unzip it we get a lot of scripts as well as set of libraries which we can use to perform our tasks so each and every tag that we're going to talk about is associated with a piece of code that does some kind of a task and that code is going to reside in the libraries that we're going to download so as part of next video where you will see how to set up the environment we'll understand how to set up the ant libraries so that we can write these xml files and use one now if you're using eclipse for a while and creating dynamic projects to create servlets or jsp projects then you're going to argue saying that you never have to work with ant tool well let me tell you that all these ideas like eclipse netbeans etc they're all internally going to use a script like this to perform the task and they provide you the convenience to do all this with just a click of a button so it's always important to understand what's happening behind the scenes and understand a tool like ant and moreover the built-in tools offered by eclipse or netbeans ide will have limited functionality they won't allow you to customize things but if you learn the ant technology you can do unlimited things with it there is a lot of flexibility that ant offers we simply have unlimited options to play with our project you name any typical task that you would perform in a java project you can do it with ant script and of course we now have more advanced tools like maven gradle etc but definitely there are certain situations and problems that the modern day tools cannot solve but ant does because it will allow you to do a lot of customization you get more control on your code and your project hope that makes sense see you soon